Hello, it's the Nortel guy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the time and date on your Nortel uh, CS1000 PBX. Uh, this would likely, the commands I'm going to show you would likely apply to any of the Nortel family of PBXs, the SL1, the uh, all the option series like the option 11, the option 81, and the other option series is in between. Uh, this has nothing to do with the North Star or the BCM, which I often talk about. Okay, this is strictly PBX. And the chances are, if you have a PBX, you know you have a PBX. This tends to be a larger system. And you're probably familiar with what you're seeing right here in front of you this green and black screen. Uh, you probably got a terminal somewhere in a back room next to the phone system. Anyway, this is what we need to use to uh, log into the what they call the console and enter the program to change the time. So I'm going to log in. Uh, my password, I mean my login just happens to be admin2. Yours might just be admin, could be something else entirely. Uh, the default password, if it's not been changed, is four zeros. Um, if you don't know the password, uh, one idea you might try doing is uh, looking on the bottom of the keyboard. Uh, also look if there's any sticky notes around the terminal. Um, you might also try checking inside the cabinet or look inside any books you might have got with the system. Um, or contact the person who installed it. I mean, if it's your system, you should, you should be able to know what the password is. Okay, once you've successfully logged in, we need to enter into program load uh, 02. And that's done at the prompt by typing LD02 or just LD2. And if I want to see what my current time and date is, I can simply type TTAD. That shows me what the current PBX time and date is. And if I want to set the time and date, it's STAD and then a very specific format. And here's the format. It's STAD and then a space. And then the first two digits you need are the uh, day of the month. So in this case, 24. Okay, then another space. Then you need the actual two-digit number for the month we're in. In this case, it's June, so it's 06. And then another space. And then you need the year in four digits. And then another space. And now we need the time in military time. Um, if you don't know what military time is, stop or after this video. Go, go look it up on the Internet. It's just simply a 24-hour clock. So, for instance, 5 o'clock becomes 1,700 hours. Um, it's also known as international time, I think. Anyway, in this case, it is uh, 5 o'clock, so I'm going to put in 17, and then another space, and the minutes are 11, and then another space, and then the seconds. I mean, if you want to be that precise, you can do seconds, or you can just enter two zeros, and then hit return. And if you don't get any error, that means your format was correct. Okay, it's very important that it be in that format, STAD space the the day of the month, space the month in two digits, space the year in four digits, another space, the hour of the day in uh, in 24 hour time or military time, another space for the minutes, another space for the seconds, and then hit return. Now there is one possibility if you type the STAD and immediately you get an error um, that means that the login you're using doesn't have enough permissions to change the time and date, so you're going to need to get another login. So for instance, if you're used to using a, a login for doing other things in this terminal and you're trying to use it to change the time and date and you type the STAD, you get an error, it means it doesn't have enough permissions. You need to go dig deeper. You again, go back to the books or um, uh, try calling whoever normally does the maintenance for your system. Um, and like I said, don't be shy. This is your system unless you access in the terminal is going to violate some kind of agreement maintenance agreement um, you should be able to to get in here and change the time and date you shouldn't have to call a professional out at hundred and fifty dollars an hour just to change change the time and date on your system okay um, when I'm done with that um, to exit this program or to get out of this load I need to press four asterisk keys or four stars one two three four and then now I have left that program um, and then to completely get out of my particular session in this console, I need to type L-O-G-O. -O. Now I'm completely logged out. 
And that's it for changing the time and date. Um, when you change the time and date, the clocks on your phones sometimes can take up to 60 seconds before they'll reflect that new uh, time change that you made. Okay, thanks.